Welcome back to Milanze Productions. So today it's going to be a short news roundup video on the different private servers of World of Warcraft. Um, not much is going on between all the different um, servers that I cover at least. So it's going to be a short one today. The first one is going to be Turtle Wow because I think that's the biggest right now. Turtle Wow just recently as of like a week or two had their 1.16.2 patch which added... A new raid, it added a new dungeon, along with all of the class changes that everyone has been waiting for for about a year now, I think. I think it was supposed to come out in the last update, which was give or take around Christmas time, so just over half a year. So it's been a long time coming, and they finally did that. With the patch release, they finally got up to about 3,000 players online at a time, so the server is definitely growing a lot. Also, with the added attention, uh, their website is currently being DDoSed, so their website may be on and off down for a while. And with the influx of players, uh, they are cracking down on more trolling and bad behaviors, so there's gonna be, um, more rules put in place, but most of the rules are kind of common sense, you know, like no harassing, yada yada. It's just they're gonna be cracking down more on it since there's more players, obviously. And the last thing to cover with Turtle is that their custom dungeons, the Stormwind Vault and the Black Morass, have uh, both been nerfed in terms of the NPC damage to the player. The next private server is going to be the Fall of Lordaeron. Again, not much in terms of when they're going to have a alpha or whatever, but it looks like they did post another update, a couple of screenshots. This time it's on the Shadowfane Keep. Of course, it has a different name on their server as it's going to be a restored version before it becomes the Shadowfane Keep. And it looks incredible. It's got all the new textures of a brand new expansion. So I'm going to be showing you the screenshots here of what it looks like from both the outside and the inside. It definitely looks familiar because obviously we've been there before a million times, but you could definitely see that the textures are much better. The next server I'm going to be covering is Everlook Server. This is the one that a lot of people are waiting for. Uh, they've recently hit over 22,000 Discord members. So definitely they have a huge following already. They've got that hype train rolling. They just need to keep it steady. Um, they have confirmed that there's going to be a PTR later this month, probably in the next uh, week or two. Uh, other than that, they while they don't have a confirmed launch date, they said that they're aiming just past Wrath of the Lich King launch, the classic Wrath of the Lich King, uh, possibly in November, give or take. So that's probably when the actual launch is going to be while the PTR is this month. Speaking of PTR, the very last server I'm going to be talking about in this um, month's episode, I guess, bi-monthly news, because I really don't do this every month, but it's going to be Project Epoch. Now, they uh, are pretty active on the Discord, giving people like, oh yeah, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. Uh, they have or are currently compiling a um, frequent ask questions page, so that will be something that's going to be uh, up and running, at least a newer version, because I think they already had one. Um, a lot of people are asking questions and even suggestions, and the devs um, are responding back to them. Their PTR is presumably going to be around one to two months away. It's not confirmed, but from the last time I asked them, which was about this time last month, uh, they estimated six to eight weeks, which is around two months. So possibly in the next month or two, we're definitely going to see a PTR, roughly. Other than that, though, they have said they are going to revamp, uh, not completely revamp, but definitely add to professions. They are only going to have vanilla professions, but they are, from inscription, going to be bringing in glyphs. I don't know how the glyphs will be implemented since there's not going to be an inscription profession, but also the glyphs are going to be cosmetic only. I'll show you a screenshot here of one of them that they posted on their general chat. A glyph of the polar bear form for druids, but they had a lot of other ones that they showed too. They were also posting pictures of custom trinkets that they are making. I'm not gonna post those here because they're just trinkets or whatever, you know, who cares? But if you are interested to see uh, their updates, read what they're saying, like, oh yeah, we're doing this, this, this. They uh, recently had a discussion on 
whether there's going to be a form of looking for group or not, you can definitely follow their Discord channel. Anyway, that's going to be the end. It's a short and sweet video uh, this month, by month. I don't know. I post these like every two to three months when it, even though my title says monthly. But, <laughs> but um, anyway, that's going to be the news for now. Not much has been going on in these servers. So hopefully the next month or two, we'll get some more info, especially since we got a lot of PTRs around the corner. So I'll see you then.